the orbit command can help you navigate around your model and get the, van the vantage points that you need for working on it. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm holding the shift key down and my middle mouse button or the mouse wheel. I'm pressing that down. The command, that's, this, is a, this is a constrained orbit. If I look over here, I have the orbit commands. There's orbit, free orbit, and continuous orbit. Now, the orbit command is simply what I did, but this time, without the shift key, I'm clicking the left mouse button and moving the cursor around on the screen like so. I'm going to right-click and exit. If I come back up here again, I'll see free orbit and orbit. Now I see continuous orbit below that. And continuous just simply is pick a point and move the mouse and you see it rotate around. And you'll move it around to another position and see it. It's just typically just rotating around. I'm going to stop that and come over here to hit the escape key and exit. And come back to a position, the home position, right here on my navigation cube. And also on the right hand side you'll see the orbit command. So, so it reflects what you have up here in the left hand corner on the ribbon bar. You can use the menu on, here, on this side also. Here's orbit, free orbit, and continuous orbit. So again, orbit command, left mouse button, there it goes. You can zoom in at the same time, scroll the mouse wheel in, and if you right click, you see you have modes here. You can change the views top, bottom, front, just as if you're using the navigation cube here. You can choose the top view, right click, front view, right click, and reset the view, come back to where you were.